Hi everyone, I'm Maddie with Pure Movement Pilates Studio and we're going to go over the exercise chest lift today. I'm going to take my props and put them to the side for now. I do have a TheraBand and a yoga block uh, on standby in case I need it and I will show you those variations as well. Okay, so I'm going to start on my back and I'm going to start with my legs bent, feet flat. Okay. I'm going to start with my hands behind my head and my elbows, I can still see them. They're not all the way tucked in towards my face and they're not all the way out wide where I'm in a little bit of extension with my upper back and I am just kind of right in the middle. Okay. I'm going to breathe in through my nose. I'm going to exhale, curl up from my abdominals, pulling myself up towards my hips and looking at my thighs and then I'm going to inhale lower. Exhale curling up, inhale lower. Now the biggest thing with a chest lift is that I'm not, this is I'm going to show you what not to do, I'm not cranking up from my head and my neck, it's all from my abdominals. Think of I'm contracting my abdominals down and towards my hips and my ribs are coming up and that is what's picking me up. The ribs are going down towards the mat and they're going down towards the hips and that's what's giving me this chest lift quality, okay? So if I were to take my hands away, that would put a little bit more strain on my neck, but I'm going to show you that version as well, okay? So here's the full version. We can curl up head, neck, and shoulders, pause. We can take the arms up and reach them back to behind the thighs, curl up a little deeper, Hold that curl as the arms come back behind the head, and then I lower back down. Breathe in, exhale, curl up, hold. Arms go up and to the thighs, they're straight. I pull behind my thighs to curl up a little deeper. Hold the curl, hold, hold. Arms return back behind the head, and I lower. Inhale, exhale, lift. Arms behind the thighs, pull myself a little deeper. Shoulders relax as best they can and then hold that curl as my hands go back behind the head. Now I could add the challenge by going legs to tabletop, right? Curling up head, neck, and shoulders, arms go behind the head, grab behind the thighs, curl a little deeper, right? Noticing how that deepens the curl, and then arms back behind the head, and then I lower. Inhale, exhale, curl. Arms behind the thighs, curl a little deeper, hold. Arms return behind the head and lower back down. Rest the feet here, take a moment. So, there's ways I can work around this. If I, say, had an issue where I couldn't really lift my head, neck, or shoulders, or I didn't want to lift my neck yoga block and put it behind my head for support for my head, and I could continue my chest lifting here with the yoga block behind my head if that gives me a little bit more support in the movement coming up and down. But otherwise, what about this? Okay, I don't even have to lift my head, neck, and shoulders at all and still feel my abdominals. I can take legs to tabletop. I can take my arms up to the ceiling, take them behind the thighs, grab on a little bit and pull from the thighs, and then return the arms back up to the ceiling. I'm still feeling an abdominal contraction from me pulling with the arms behind the thighs as I do this, but I'm not lifting head, neck, and shoulders or compromising from that position, all right? The other thing I could do is I could grab behind the thighs and pull the thighs closer towards my chest, bending the knees more, and then as I take the legs back to the tabletop, my arms back to the ceiling. So now I'm working a little bit more on the deep abdominals and finding that movement there with my legs coming in, while everyone else would be doing, per se, the chest lift, right? So there's always a way to modify. Good. And then last time, head is down, rest the feet, and breathe and just take a moment here, rock the hips all side to side. Same thing as if the feet were down, right? I could take my arms up to the ceiling and then bring them down behind the thighs and then bring them back up. My arms going down to my hips, I still feel a little abdominal contraction from the ribs, from the abdominals, right? So. Even though I'm not lifting head, neck, and shoulders, I'm still feeling it as I bring my arms down to my hips. 
that would be a little lower. Can I reach a little bit away too, and that can help too. Pull behind the thighs, and that gives us a little bit more too, right? So there's ways to work around it. If it's more of an issue where you feel like it's hard for me to kind of get how much the head is coming up with me without my arms so much behind the head, I'm going to put the TheraBand behind and show you how this can change the roll up as well. Now, let's just say how long this TheraBand is. So this could take me a second. Okay. So the TheraBand's on the mat long ways, and I don't need all this, so I just put some down at the end. I'm going to come on my back and line my spine up right in line with the TheraBand. And I left about, let's say, maybe half a foot of TheraBand behind my head and shoulders. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna, I lied. I'm gonna go a little further down. I'm gonna leave about a foot behind head, neck, and shoulders, okay? My feet are down, we're just gonna start, let's go legs long, okay? Legs are long. I'm gonna grab behind the TheraBand with both my arms, and I'm gonna start to pull the TheraBand up towards the ceiling and curl up head, neck, and shoulders here, okay? So I'm getting a little bit more support with my head, neck, and shoulders. I can choke up a little higher if I need more. The worst part about this is like your hair sticking to the TheraBand, right? So once again, I'm getting the abdominal contraction through the chest lift and a little different experience with my arms the way they are and the TheraBand supporting my head, neck, and shoulders. If I float legs to tabletop, I still feel it. And actually, in a way, I don't love this one as much as hands behind the head because I do feel like it is a neck exercise because the TheraBand's not that light, right? So what you could do is you could do one hand behind the head, one hand pulling on the TheraBand, right? And it's kind of a double effort. And that could that feels a little bit better. Now, also, I could have just been doing too many chest lifts at this point, and that's why I feel it. <laughs> so, let's just say we can give all those a try and, and see what helps us, right? You can always keep the head down. You can do more in the arms. You can move the legs in towards you a little bit, right? You can use other props to help you, and, and just don't be afraid to take a different angle. Go a different direction if you need to. All right. Thank you, guys. And that's it.